guys, I'm Jamie Carboni of Food Karma Projects. I'm the host and producer of Cider Feast, and this is Cider Feast New York City. We're here now at a new venue, 99 Scott in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Take L train to Jefferson and walk over. We got about 20 different cider brands here, mostly from New York, but some from New England and abroad, like France and Spain. So um, this is a chance to sample different ciders. It's been a passion of mine in 2011. Some of the first Cider Week organizing events happened at my former pub. Jimmy's number 43, so we kind of keep the flame going. Uh, my name's Giron Kal. Uh, I'm the founder of Original Sin Cider. We've been making cider for 26 years, which make us one of the first modern day cideries. We started going bar to bar in New York City in the van at a time when there was really no cider. And literally we would go to bars and people didn't even know what cider was. And obviously now the industry's kind of blown up to the point where there's 126 ciders in New York State, which is more than any other state in the country. And there's as many as 1,200 cideries throughout the country. So it's been great. We've been great to see the category take off, and hopefully that's going to obviously continue in the future. So, and we have an orchard where we grow 150 varieties of apples. Here we're displaying a few of the more unique ones, and every apple has a place of origin and a, a reason for propagation. And we kind of want to show with our orchard the diversity of what apples can be. We have apples that taste like pineapples, apples that taste like pears, apples that look like stars. Here's an apple called Epi Atale from Switzerland, that looks like a star. Um, and uh, this is uh, Thomas Jefferson's favorite apple to make a cider, just kind of showing the history of cider in this country. I'm tasting the original Sin cider, looks delicious. Oh my god, it's so dry and crisp, and just like he said, they focus on the drier ciders, which is right up my alley, so delicious. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm one of the cider makers for Angry Orchard, and we brought a couple ciders that we make at our small innovation orchard in upstate New York. We brought two ciders. We brought our FLX Cherry, which is a blend of cider from our orchard, back sweetened with a little bit of tart jerry juice from Geneva. And we brought our Cubay 3, which is a blend of mostly bittersweet apples, primarily Dabonet, aged in uh, fresh oak barrels for a minimum of three years. So I would try the Cubay 3 first, bone dry. Oh, I love that. Another dry cider right up my alley. Angry Orchard, obviously, very well known. Can't wait. Oh my god, that's really good. Mm. This is Ace Cider from Sonoma County, California. Been around since 1993. And today we have our semi-dry mango cider and our seasonal pumpkin spice cider. I'm William Garcia from Master Ham. Uh, we provide the service for this uh, homemade uh, ham from Dakota, United States, we're here. And also we provide the service for different other kind of, of people and brands. Uh, hi, originally with a partner. She is not working with him anymore. That's a whole other thing. Um, no, they're still great friends. They just, you know, didn't want to do the same thing. So yeah, we do a lot of wild foraging apples upstate and uh, we're located in Andes. Well, the tap room is in Andes, so we do a lot of wild foraging all around Delaware County as much as we can. Um, yeah, small batch cidery. We're definitely on the dry side of ciders. A little funky, but a nice funk. <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of our like, flagship cider. This is the cider that we give people if they're not if they're new to cider or if they haven't had cider before. So. I'm super excited to try Wayside Ciders. The Half Will, this is their flagship cider. I'm about to try. I'm super excited. It's so good. <laughs> and, but it's like it's 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 earthy, which I think is what the funk you're talking about, but yeah. it is a good funk. Like it's earthy and it separates it yeah, it's a very from nice other apple ciders. Forward for sure. You know you're getting an apple cider, it's not too sweet, not too dry. If somebody comes into the tap room and they're like, what cider? It's always what I give them a taste of first, because I feel like it's a very nice introduction into our kind of style ciders that we do. It is so super crisp and I'm I'm in love with it. Sorry. Oh, my name's Kit. I'm with uh, Jimmy. Uh, we're just showcasing the Wolfers Botanical Slider today. Would you like to try some? This is the Wolfer Botanical Slider and it's beautiful, so I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's so like floral and vibrant and fruity. It's definitely if you like fruit forwardness and you like like a little bit of floral, it's perfect for you. Hi, how are you? So I'm Chef Joe Cedar Pounty. I'm from Bruno Bakery. Happy to be here at Ciderfest. 
Uh, today we're serving an apple crumb bomboloni. Really delicious, kind of goes with the event. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. So now I'm going to try an apple pie donut from Bruno's. I'm super excited. Look at this. Okay. And the inside. So good. <laughs> it's worth getting messy over. Hey guys, this is uh, Roman here with Aval Cider. This is uh, my associate here, Akano. Hey, hey We're uh, here with Aval Cider, straight from Brittany, France, northwest of France. Uh, we've been making the best ciders in the world for about a thousand years. So, you know, all natural, pure apple juice, the real deal. We're starting with the gold. Ooh, thank you. The beautiful color, I love it already. Definitely the most unique cider I've had at this event so far. It's once again, delicious and really crisp. Love it. It's amazing. I love rosé, so any cider for me that has any type of rosé, perfect. I'm Joey. I work with Austin Bean Ciders. Uh, we're a small cider company out of Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm here out in Brooklyn today sampling a few of our finest ciders, starting with our Texas Blue Light Cider. It's a super dry, 100 calorie, 2 grams of sugar. Uh, we also have our Blood Orange Blackberry and our Cherry Lime, which is limited for a few months in the fall. So um, let's drink up. Blood Orange is my favorite. You guys want to try a few of them? You want to try them all? Yeah. You guys want to do the tour? We'll go through them all. Cool. I'll give you a taste. This is the, uh, te brut, uh, the Texas Brut Light Cider. It's our uh, 100 calorie, 2 grams of sugar. I can get you some as well if you want to try some. I got three cups out here, so it just works perfect. <laughs> perfect. So this one, this one's one of my favorites. It's also one of the uh, favorites for the cider staff. Uh, it's just super easy drinking. Um, definitely, all of our ciders are lower in sugar, but this one definitely finishes out at that low end of just 2 grams, so you can drink a million of these. Same cups worker are, or I can get you a fresh one. Oh, yeah. I need a new one, sorry. I've already like had so much. Hey, it's a marathon, not a race. <laughs> See, really nice color added in there. Yeah. Um, these are dry apple ciders. The blood orange cider is my absolute favorite, so here we go. Austin East Cider's blood orange, blood orange cider. You've got to try it. Hi, it is Juan. I am a Tierra Callada producer, extra originally well from Spain. And I would like to show you a little bit around. We have extra original oil from the south of Spain, from Jaén. We have two different varieties and two different moments of harvesting. We have Picual variety harvested in October, Picual variety harvested in November, and Arbequina variety harvested in November. The point of the moment of harvesting is important. If you harvest before, when the olives are still green, you get less oil but more intensity. If you let the olive get ripe and ripe, you get less intensity but more oil. So you will see that it's bitter, it's powerful, that's the nature of this. this oil. Again, the depth of flavor in that olive oil, and like all its... Um, it's just, it's just, you can taste so much in that, that it's so special, but it's just, it's amazing. Like, so good. Hello, this is seafood from Galicia. Um, we come, we have baby squid, we have mussels, cockles, and octopus. Um, in Galicia, we have like the best, Galicia is in nor northwest of Spain, we have the best type of seafood in, in at least in, in Europe. Uh, so please go, go ahead and, and try some. It's in paprika and olive oil, it's called esca escabeche. Hi, I'm Carlo DeVito and I'm a wine, beers and spirits and ciders uh, editor and writer. And my current book is Drink the Northeast, which is all about the wine, beers, 
uh, ciders and wines of New England uh, with a little bit of New York thrown in there. Uh, great book, a lot of fun. I've been writing about uh, wine, beers, and spirits in New England for many years, and you're going to love it, I promise. My name is Blake Irving uh, with Velvet Llama. Now, just a couple of New York City based bartenders who wanted to bring a craft cocktail experience to a can. And that's what we're doing here today. Hello, stranger. How are we doing? I'm great. How are you? Good. I hope you're thirsty. Oh, I am. You parched? I'm ready. Let's do this. I got two flavors for you today I got a spicy margarita and a Moscow mule. Do you like ginger? I love ginger. Let's start with the mule. All right. All right. So, this guy. Is a fermented sugar cane base. It's six percent ABB with natural lime. And we did a blend of Nigerian and Chinese ginger extract, which gives you the earthiness and wholesome smoothness of ginger without the harsh bite. It is smooth without the harsh bite. Because I was looking for the harsh. Talk to me. This is delicious, just like he said. Smooth ginger, not the harsh bite. It is refreshing. This has a blend of jalapeno, capsaicin, spice. Oh, jalapeno. Just take a second. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. I'm tasting the jalapeno. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Jimmy Carboni. I'm the host of Cider Feast at Pig Island and Beer Sessions Radio on Heritage Radio Network. Thanks for coming out. Another one of our events. And I'm going to take you to this little special taste over here, this grilling tent. It's uh, the Heritage Farm from Snug Harbor, where you guys were from Pig Island. They sent us some shishitos. Farmer Ezra, come here. And my friend Chef David, who was the chef for a long time with me at Jimmy's Number 43 in the East Village. Here's Farmer Ezra. Tell us about the shishito peppers that you... <laughs> so tonight we're lucky enough to be able to bring some shishito peppers harvested on Tuesday from our Heritage Farm in Staten Island, uh, located at Snug Harbor, our Botanical Garden and Cultural Center. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's great to be able to work with Jimmy at other events and be able to bring fresh produce to uh, these great uh, evenings. Yeah, and our Chef David, we've got our friends at the East Village Meat Market, one of our proud Ukrainian friends in the East Village. Um, he's serving some traditional kabanosi which we used to call beer sausage. So. so they're a great fit together, and it, uh, it goes really well with all the ciders and all the, all the producers that are here tonight. Why don't you pick up a bag and show them what they look like? <laughs> so it was, it was an adventure getting them to Jimmy. Oh, thanks, Jimmy, as he walks away. Uh, it was an adventure getting these to Bushwick, but uh, we're glad that we were able to get 30 pounds to Chef David over here, who's doing a great job making sure they're charred, seasoned, and uh, taste delicious. Okay, I've already had the sausito peppers. I've never had these before and they're so good. I thought they were going to be spicy, but perfect. I love sausito peppers. Oh, it's familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is a pie from Coney Island Saucery. We made the best hot sauce you ever have in your entire life. We have two flavors. We have a Louisiana style, which has uh, cayenne peppers. It has fresh garlic, fresh basil, and a little bit of margarine. We also have our Mexican verde, which has tomatillo, serrano, jalapeno, scallion, lime juice, cilantro, amazing on tacos, amazing on steak, and amazing on your rice and beans. You check us out at Coneos. Right. That was like tight. I was like, really? I'm nervous. What's up? I'm nervous. I'm the heat. Oh, you're nervous? Yeah. Uh, you're good. You're good. Don't worry. Okay. We have uh, mild and medium. Mild? And medium. Oh, okay, good. Not It's delicious. It reminds me of a goat cheese. Hi guys, I'm St. Maka, made out of shells from the rock I'm St. Maka. Distilled from apples, locally grown in uh, 
upstate New York, Charlottesville, only like an hour and a half away. So you... Not only that, not only that, but it's also kosher, so it goes under a very prestigious manufacturing process. You get the most cleanly out of it. Yeah. When you taste it, it'll be very fresh, very crisp. And it's one of a kind, because there's not other the box people. Feast has been amazing. Shout out to Jimmy Carbone. Thank you so much for an amazing event. I'm Laura for Flavors of New York. And I'm Sidra and I had an amazing time. Amazing sliders, amazing donut sausages, cheeto peppers, everything.